I want to say that uh, I love the wasps. I had learned about them years ago, really, because a friend of mine, Marianne Burgess, wrote a book just about the wasps and the unsung heroines of World War II. And I learned about them then. And when I wrote my book, American Heroines, where I uh, wrote about women who shaped our country, uh, American Heroines, I wrote about the women who broke barriers in so many different fields. The Wasps were brave pilots. They logged 60 million miles flying missions all across America. When General Hap Arnold, who was chief of the Army Air Force, called uh, them at the graduation ceremonies when they were finishing their jobs, he said, the Wasps are the best women pilots in the world. It is on the record, he said, that women can fly as well as men. Unfortunately, however, the Wasps were never awarded full military status and were ineligible to become officers. They paid their own way to Texas to train, and after they were released from the service, they paid their own way home. Military service in war and peace is a dangerous business. Every year, those who are in this kind of operation uh, may die from any different uh, number of types of accidents. As aircraft companies turned out thousands of aircraft for the war effort, these incredibly brave women were in many cases the first to fly these untested aircraft across the country. Many of them crashed. 38 wasps died in the line of duty. When they did, their families were saddled with the costs of transporting their bodies, arranging for burials, and they couldn't even fly the gold star in the windows to honor these brave women. Their families were not allowed to have an American flag draped on their coffins, and no one ever presented a flag to them on behalf of a grateful nation. I wrote about the wasp because I wanted this word to get out. I wanted to raise public awareness about these military pioneers. And they, every one of them sitting here, and every one of those who are, are, are already gone, have had a tremendous impact on the role of women today in the military. However, despite their cultural impact, the Wasps never received the honors, nor were they formally recognized by Congress for their wartime military service. Until now. This year, I was delighted to introduce legislation to award the Congressional Gold Medal to the courageous loss of World War II. The Congressional Gold Medal is the highest and most distinguished award that Congress can award to a civilian. In fact, when I introduced this legislation, I have never seen a Congressional Gold Medal go through Congress so quickly. Only three months. It passed this July. That is a record. This is indeed a time to honor all of those who have served our country. I am so fortunate to be able to serve in the United States Senate and to honor not only the veterans who are here with us, uh, but to honor those who have died before to assure that our country is the strongest and the best in the world. Our country is the beacon of freedom to the world. It is on the shoulders of those who serve in our military that we have this responsibility and this honor. We owe you so much, and we are honoring you today. We are honoring every veteran and everyone who has died for this freedom. And I will be so pleased to give you the duplicate of the bill that passed the Congress and was signed into law in July that honors the wasp of World War II. Thank you for braving everything you did, for not taking no for an answer, for saying you were going to serve our country, no matter how many obstacles there were, and you did, and we honor you today. Thank you.